Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. What is a prompt? A prompt is any phrase or set of keywords you can input into an AI tool such as ChatGPT. The tool will interpret the prompt and generate a response based on its existing knowledge base. Because AI-powered tools like ChatGPT can learn from prompts continuously, users will enrich its analytical capabilities with varied prompts. When writing prompts, clarity is key. Provide a clear direction which includes complete context for the model to generate a response. Here are some guidelines to follow. Be specific. Provide as much detail as possible about what you're asking and the context intended for your prompt. Be concise. Keep your prompts short and to the point, focusing on the most relevant information. Use natural language. Write prompts as you would ask a question of another person, using proper grammar and sentence structure. Avoid ambiguity. Avoid using vague language or incomplete sentences that could have multiple interpretations. Avoid yes and no questions. Relating to being precise, these yes and no questions may not produce as much comprehensive response as other types of queries. Consider tone and style. Consider the tone and style of your prompts to ensure the response generated by ChatGPT is consistent with your desired manner. Continuously experiment and refine your prompts to improve results. Overall, the goal is to provide ChatGPT with a clear and specific prompt that it can use to generate a coherent and relevant response. For example, acting as a dictionary, give me the meaning of supercilious. The answer, supercilious is an adjective that describes a person's behavior or attitude, specifically referring to an exaggerated sense of superiority. Acting as a thesaurus, give me a synonym for truncate, and it gives me shorten. When writing prompts, I like to provide the following type of information to ChatGPT. Action with a persona, a task, an audience that the prompt is for, the goal of the prompt. You can also add the style, and in some cases you can tell it how to export, i.e. you want it in a table or in some cases a graph. So in this example, I say acting as a librarian, find me books about the Roman Empire. I don't add an audience here or a goal because it's just a simple give me a list of books. As you can see, it gives me seven options. Many of them are well-known books on the subject. When it comes to business prompts, there are a whole host of ideas available with ChatGPT, and I've provided an Excel spreadsheet that lists out prompt ideas for many different business types. For now, I'll just show you these three. Generate a script for a 60-second commercial promoting our new foldable solar panels. As you can see, it starts with an opening shot of a picturesque outdoor scene with bright sunlight and green surroundings. The camera pans to reveal a family sitting under a shaded area. A narrator introduces the product, which it's calling Fold a Sun. And then we have a series of shots, more voiceovers, all the way to the end with the closing shot of the Fold a Sun logo and tagline, along with the announcer saying, Power on the go, get yours now. So this could be a good place to start with your commercial. Acting as an SEO guru, create a list of potential blog post ideas for the website of a company working in the artificial intelligence space, specifically on robotic process automation technology. ChatGPT provides me with the following blog ideas, which are all pretty good and interesting. How RPA is revolutionizing business operations, the benefits of implementing RPA in your organization, all the way to the future impact of RPA on job roles and the workforce. Acting as a tech blogger, create a list of potential blog post ideas for the website of a software consulting company working in the data integration field. It has given me 20 great options, including blogs titled The Importance of Data Integration, Unlocking the Power of Your Data, Demystifying Data Integration, a Comprehensive Guide for Businesses, Data Integration versus Data Migration, Understanding the Differences, and Exploring Real-Time Data Integration, Benefits and Use Cases, among others. All very useful stuff. One of the most interesting areas to use ChatGPT is in marketing. For example, if I ask ChatGPT, acting as a social media marketer, create a general social media post announcing a new product launch of an energy drink, which will maximize engagement and reach. Include a cool name for the drink as well. 
It provides me with the following. Introducing Energix. Unleash your energy and conquer the day. Get ready to experience an electrifying burst of energy like never before. We are thrilled to announce the launch of our revolutionary energy drink, Energix. ChatGPT has come up with a name for the product and it really hits all the right energy drink notes. Key features. Extreme energy boost, mental clarity and focus, refreshing flavor explosions. ChatGPT even provides a list of hashtags to add to your social media marketing channels. Hashtag Energix, hashtag Unleash Your Energy, hashtag Power Through the Day, hashtag Conquer the Day, etc., etc. The next ChatGPT prompt, acting as an email marketer, develop a personalized email marketing campaign for a customer segment based on their interest in purchase history, produces the following. A nice letter which just needs some customization to get it ready for emailing. And finally, in the third prompt, I state, acting as web developer, build a personalized landing page for a customer segment based on their interests and purchase history. This produces an interesting response as an AI language model I'm unable to directly build a personalized landing page, but I can provide you with a template and guidelines for creating a personalized landing page based on customer interest and purchase history. Here's an example structure and content you can use as a starting point. It gives me the headline, introduction, personalized recommendations, testimonials, exclusive offers, call to action, social proof, additional recommendations, personalization and customization, and then the contact information and support. It does also state at the end, remember the design and layout of the landing page should be visually appealing and user-friendly, incorporate compelling visuals, use concise and persuasive copy, and ensure a seamless browsing experience on different devices. Feel free to adapt this template, it states as well. For student prompts, ChatGPT can help with creating papers, providing a study guide, even providing test questions. For example, here I give ChatGPT the prompt, acting as a college English teacher, generate a list of potential essay topics for introduction to Russian literature, along with a brief outline of main points to be discussed. It provides a lot of compelling topics for a student enrolled or thinking about enrolling in the course. As ChatGPT notes at the end, these essay topics are designed to provide a broad range of options for students studying Russian literature. The main points to be discussed in each essay should be further developed by conducting research, referring to specific literary works, and incorporating critical analysis, much of which you can also get from ChatGPT. The second prompt is acting as a math teacher, explain the Pythagorean theorem, and give me a multiple choice test at the end. ChatGPT's response is, the Pythagorean theorem is a fundamental principle in geometry, and it goes on to explain exactly what it is. It also gives five multiple choice test questions that will help the student assess his or her understanding of the theorem. The third prompt, acting as a physics professor, clearly explained to me what quantum computing is, explaining it like a seven-year-old to me so that I get an in-depth understanding of that concept. ChatGPT starts with, hey there, Let's talk about quantum computing in a way that a seven-year-old can understand. Imagine you have a special kind of computer that doesn't work like the regular ones you might have seen. It's called a quantum computer. ChatGPT does a good job of keeping the concept simple and easily understandable. With some careful prompting, ChatGPT can be used as a persona. It can be asked to act as a travel guide. In this case, a potential prompt would be, I will be traveling to Istanbul. Can you suggest historical places and museums to visit? Act as a stand-up comedian. A prompt could be, give me some topics related to current events and use your wit, creativity, and observational skills to create a routine based on those topics. Act as a motivational coach. The prompt could be to give me a list of goals and challenges for a weight trainer, including positive affirmations, helpful advice, as well as suggesting activities I can do to reach my end goal of putting on 10 pounds of muscle. Act as a virtual personal assistant and draft some letters from me. Act as a language translator. Translate this document from English to Spanish. Act as a financial advisor. Generate a budget plan for me. Act as a personal chef. Suggest a healthy meal plan for the month that includes meals that have fewer than 500 calories. Prompts are truly the building blocks of ChatGPT. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. 
To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.